This is whole body cryotherapy. It's a technique that many trainers will suggest to people who have intense fitness training or chronic pain like arthritis. The whole body cryotherapy is a surface level cold, so it's, it's ice therapy, but it's surface level and more of a mind game. So when you get out, it pushes all the the oxygen, nutrient-rich blood back to your extremity. So. The concept is standing in a machine for three minutes and cold nitrogen is blown around your body. Some trainers and cryotherapy studio owners believe that there are even more benefits to the freeze than just recovering muscles. It's also good for energy boosts. Uh, so if you, some people do it before a workout because you do get an extra natural boost of energy. Now you may think this is just a fancy ice bath, but it's actually different than an old-fashioned cold soak. You'd have to be in an ice bath for probably about 40 minutes to be close to the benefits of three minutes. Plus it's just different as an ice bath is just wherever you're icing is the only area that gets that benefit for the recovery. While this is more just your, everything going to your core and then pushing out, your whole body gets the benefit. Before you go exposing your body to negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit, there are some other things to consider with cryotherapy. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has not found any proof that cryotherapy has any of the benefits it says it does. And basketball athletes at Missouri State University actually got injured after using the treatment, having the athletic department put a ban on athletes' use of cryotherapy altogether. Um, we, we, we have no, no interest in doing it further, that's for sure. But we're still, you know, we're, we still have a lot to figure out what happened right now, let alone moving on in the future, but we, we have no plans to do it again. But then there are athletes like LeBron James who reportedly swears by the treatment. The best bet, as with any type of medical treatment, is to consult your doctor before stepping in the freezing chamber. In Bozeman, Morgan Davies, MTN News. Coming up on KBZK and